They call me a racist. <laughs> oh my god! It is episode sixty. 65 of the 66 of the keep on drinking podcast yeah yes no <laughs> yeah no yeah no thank uh, you everybody for coming back to the keep on trucking podcast luke davis is not here he's no, um jeez that sucks he's in virginia he's, <laughs> he's in virginia my loss and uh, my guest mm. today is a, a a good friend of mine a comedian as a sty in his eye kiwi wine truck everybody <laughs> Kiwi wine trum. <laughs> Kiwi, you, you've had that style in your fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you've had that style in your face for fucking three months already. Dude. Come on. It's been uh, May, June, July. Yeah, <laughs> it has been three months. Yeah, but to know. be fair, in my defense, they've been they've been different styles <laughs> yeah. throughout the three Why months. Why do you keep getting different styles? <laughs> uh, probably because there's something wrong with you, dude. There's something wrong with me. There's also something wrong with you know Canada had the fires. And yeah. We're getting all the particles downwind here in New York. We're getting a lot of air pollution because of the fires in Canada. And I think that when they've gotten better, my styes, more little air particles have flown into my eyelid. Really? Your doctor doesn't tell you, like, hey, dude, wear like goggles. <laughs> Dr. Chin Chu. That's your doctor's name? Yeah. Yo, Dr. Chin Chu. <laughs> Shout out, Meleng Chin Chu. You suck. It's I a guy or a girl? It's a girl. I hate this lady. She's an uh, eye doctor. What are they called? Ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist. Yeah, she's an ophthalmologist. She, um,. I don't know, man. I didn't have a style. I got one when I was 18, and I didn't have one. I didn't have one for seven years. There's a lot of things wrong with you, huh? Yeah, that's oh, what they for say. You, for you guys that I'm, uh, they pro- I, I'm sure they know. I don't think we have to explain. No, no, no. Well, I mean, we're not gonna explain in detail. <laughs> They've probably seen the last episode with me. Well, on if it. you want to see the last, uh, what we're talking about, Kiwi doesn't have a stomach, so listen to the last episode. I do have a stomach. <laughs> what is it that you're missing? <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what are you missing? What am I missing? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Can we just show I, I don't have a colon. He doesn't have a colon. There Shout you go. out uh, to any ostomates people from the IB, IBD IBS community. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we weren't in Josh Creedon's apartment, I would have done that. Oh yeah. If we yeah. were in my apartment, I would have done that. Yeah, we're. we're Thank you. Can I? Do you mind? Yeah. Go Thank ahead. you to Josh Creedon for letting us use your apartment. Yeah, we're in Josh Creedon. <laughs> Josh, Josh Creedon. We're at his apartment because uh, it's too hot to film in the van. Luke Davis is not home, so we can't use his green screen. Oh, he is and a green screen? Yeah, he does. That's where we've been doing it. So we're at Josh Aquino's apartment. Dude, here, there's some, there's something interesting, Kiwi, about you. There's like there's like the most New York I've ever seen you be. Because you were born and raised in Brooklyn. We talked about it in the last sure. episode. Born and raised New York, East Coast. East Coast, baby. The most, like, you were genuinely excited that we we're going to drive up here in the van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love driving. I never got, I don't have, well, I don't you don't have know a how car. To dri- do you know how to drive? Well, no, we don't even have, my family, we never owned a car. I, I don't know how to drive. I don't have a license. And I don't even have a permit. You don't have a permit? Nope. How old are you? 25. D- dude, I, I've met a couple people that are born and raised. Uh, oh my God, excuse me. <laughs> I've met a couple people that have been born and raised here in, in New York. And a lot of them don't have apartments. I mean, sorry. <laughs> well, I have, an, <laughs> no, I have an apartment. No, that's me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, a lot of them don't have <laughs> me a, too. driver's license. Yeah, man. It's pretty uh, common. Like, there's no... All my friends who have licenses, their family has cars because they have, like, you know, homes in the country and stuff. Hmm. We never had that because, like, my family, you know, growing up, like, we didn't have... You're not wealthy. No, no, no. I mean, growing up, like, we... I thought you were very... I thought you were, like, the wealthiest guy. No. No. <laughs> no. All right. When we're whenever we're not we're never we're not on the pod, Kiwi tells me that he has a lot of money. Not true. Not true. Prove it. I got. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. I got these glasses from iBuyDirect.com. Do you know how much they were? How much? Thirty nine. With shipping, I huh, got two, 30, 30, two pairs of glasses, seventy six total with 30, shipping. Thirty nine bucks. Though. That's the amount of money you spend on sandwiches a day, huh? <laughs> In two days, actually. <laughs> two days. Days. Shout days. out Al Antico Vineo making the second best sandwiches in the Lower East Side. Then I got to pay uh, 20 20 I go there. Five goes there both over $20. What? These sandwiches That's places. That's insane, dude. That's but you know what you should do? You, you should would... go to this me chicken rice because it's only 15 What? This new chicken and rice place that I told $15? you about. The How, well, I mean, it's like a foot long though, right? At least. No, this isn't a sandwich. This is a plate of chicken and rice, and it's not that much, but it's $15? really good. Yeah, yeah, but it's like a, this food is like bite for bite. It's the best of yeah, all the places. Yeah, it's actually not that expensive because the halal cart is. I think it's like nine to eleven dollars. Dude, food is so expensive now. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. well, yeah. Well, the place that you eat, dude. 
Just in general. Did, did I, mean, I, I see you go G- to McDo- Christian Conti spent twenty dollars on McDonald's on his birthday. The you whole know, menu of McDonald's shouldn't you, be twenty bucks. You know what I've been doing, dude? I've been yeah, no, dude. McDonald's, McDonald's is ex- don't do that. McDonald's is, is that expensive. Bad? No, I don't know. I'm just can I do it? I'll, I'll again? kick your fucking ass if you do it again, dude. Do it again. I right, call my Scared. bluff. Oh, he, <laughs> <laughs> he called my bluff. <laughs> Frankie's beating the shit out of me it's under no, the table. He's on camera. Under the table. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, it's just like a, a camera. Little, just a little man down here. <laughs> you're kicking in the face. <laughs> Uh, no, you you have to learn how to order out of a McDonald's and Burger. Like, do I have all, I have all the apps now? I got McDonald's yeah. app, Burger King app. But it's expensive, right? It's like eight no, bucks no, for dude, like a whole well, meal. That's the thing. I, I I buy the meal from Burger King, the double whopper. I don't want these glasses. It's, it's fourteen dollars. That's crazy. But you use the app at seven. That's crazy. Like I think they just, seven. Yeah, I think they just want your information. So like, yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah, get the app. Isn't we'll, that scary? We'll give it to you half off. Also, places don't even do home delivery anymore. They only do Grubhub. So if you right. get delivery, it's like you just do the thing and you pay, you know, the delivery guy ho- however much money. But if you do Grubhub, you have to pay the guy plus the place plus the surcharge. You know, yeah, you're paying like fucking. For a twenty dollars thing, you're paying close to thirty. No, the places that still do deliveries or like or like the Chinese. Some like, of them or, do. Yeah, they're like Some they're like do. they're like the mom and pop, them, mama and pop, mama and pop Chinese but a lot restaurants. Of them don't. A lot of them don't. Huh? But yeah, but like Burger King, them like they don't do that. My my. All right, enough fun. What, what here, you, get the shit out of the out of the shot, dude. What do you want to talk? For about? people think that I'm being too mean to <laughs> Kiwi, I'm, no, I'm normally more mean to him. Yeah. Well, is this because Kiwi, you irritate the shit out of me, dude? Well, I mean, I played you my song on the way here. You oh, didn't even listen to the whole thing. Oh, my God, dude. Go, go, to, go to Kiwi's Instagram page. At Pope Franciscus. At, no, it's at Kiwi Wine Travel. He, he, <laughs> we're, we're listening to good music on the way. We're listening to good and he, he, And, all right, Kiwi has no fucking car etiquette, dude. He has yeah, no car etiquette. Car. We're, we're driving to run the freeway. I, like, I don't I know. I just took the wheel dude, in my hand. Dude, I don't roam, roam. I don't. I don't know what freeway to take. Kiwi takes off the GPS and goes. I want to play a song. I want to play a song. I'm like Kiwi. Like I'm literally fighting him to try to get the GPS back on my screen. Hey man. And all, all to show me this. Oh, dude, I'm gonna play it on the podcast. Yeah, please. Dude, all to show me That's this good. fucking song, dude. That'll and be good publicity for. And my song. he, he was mad that I took it off. Well, yeah, you didn't play the big finish. All right, here, copy. Here, here, Kiwi, shout out. Kiwi, talk about the song. Oh no, I found it. Never mind. I want to play this piece of shit. Can I hear it? Yes, you can. Do you see me there? Oh no. <laughs> so. No, play the whole thing. You didn't play the big finish yeah, no, again. Dude, no, dude, I'm not. You already played even less this I'm, time. I'm, you didn't play any of the big middle or the big finish. No, dude, Frankie, like, that's the whole thing is that more music comes in and you still can hear and more music. It's like, dun, 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 I paid eight, uh, $8 for that you song. You paid $8? <laughs> what do you mean? I just like paid for like a software so I could make <laughs> some music. <laughs> I was like, this is going to be worth it. You want to make music? A, m- a month. No, I don't want to make music, but I want to live. Good, good, because I don't, I mean, <laughs> I, hey, I, hey, I didn't want to hey. have to crush your dreams right here no, on the I Keep can, On Tricking podcast. Well, it's not a real song, but stop if I made move, a... Stop moving the table. I'm just saying, if <laughs> I made a real song, it would be good. And what? You like you like that song? Well, I play the drums. Well, or so first of all, the, <laughs> the audio... It's not answering your the, question. The audio that song like, <laughs> was horrendous, dude. True. I couldn't understand anything that was happening. It just sounded like... You know what it sounded like? A nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what your nightmares sound like? I feel bad for you. <laughs> just like in the car. Ah! Ah! Frog! <laughs> just in the van. <laughs> they, dude, you know why it sucked so much? Because right. of the air conditioning. Ah, oh, shit. I should put we, my should phone we turn off the air conditioning here? Well, yeah. here, speak. I'm gonna listen. No, to don't turn it off. No, no, no. It's I'm gonna, gonna be too no, hot. Speak. I'm gonna listen to the earphones. Okay, <laughs> dude. I put my phone. Or I put my computer directly next to the AC when I did it, and I just spoke into it, so it got like a little of me and a lot of the air conditioning. So that's yeah, what the dude, song and is. You know what? And you still uploaded it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Is well, that dude, good? No, no. Dude. I, I, I can't be afraid anymore. I'm not. I'm not afraid. I well, can't no, be afraid yeah, anymore. Yeah, don't don't be afraid, but also try to make it look good. It's true, I didn't do that, but I did try like to you, make it. You you uploaded the first draft. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got it in my head on that Sunday morning. I'm gonna make this Frog and Love song. I sang Frog and Love mm-hmm. on Saturday. It sounded great. I just no, it listen, dude, great. I'm, I'm, I'm it's happy. A great song. I'm not happy that you did it, but you know, I'm, I'm You're happy, happy that you that you sit out, go in the morning, and you fucking accomplished it. I'm mad Thank that I, I'm mad that it's out. 
I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm mad, I'm <laughs> mad that I have to hear it. I appreciate that. Um, I'm mad that on the drive over here, you turned, you took off the GPS, and you, put you didn't this piece even of play the on. big finish. Didn't even play the big well, finish, dude. What is it? Is it a fart? No. Then I don't care for it. Dude. <laughs> That's the only thing that would it make. Can be. The only I still have a lot of editing. The to only do thing, thing that would make be. that song better would be a fart. <laughs> a there's fart a clap. Noise. There's a clap in it. Do you hear? I go. <laughs> no, here, here, dude. Hook up. Talk, talk to. Do you talk to Sean? Sean Malay. Yeah, here and there. Oh, dude, we'll be friends with him, and he'll he'll make your dreams come true with that song, because it sounds it's not. I dude, don't, dude. It, it it sounds like a yeah, dude. It sounds like I'm in a hallway. Yeah, and, and there's an air I'm, conditioner. It sounds, it sounds like I'm in a hallway in my nightmare, dude. No, it's, it sounds. Oh, well, I'm not married to the song. I'm not married to nobody. No how, no I'm, way, I'm, dude. You, here, here's the it thing. It can be I'm anything. Not, I'm not mad at the song, dude, because I don't even know what the song is, because it just sounds like. <laughs> Exactly. exactly and then i didn't even know you were singing in it until right now that you said that you well, i had to make on that sunday i said all right i don't post on instagram i am going i only do stories of me dancing but i'm going yeah. to do something today i'm going to put it out so that the world can see forever and i did that and that was that and that was the first draft of that yes <laughs> and i did some words and i did some songs are you, you going to do another one Hopefully not, but probably. No, please do another one, but with your AC off. that song or a different song? Just a- I'll do it in the winter. Yeah, I'll do it in the fall or the winter when the AC is off, and I'll have. I don't have like a fancy mic though. I just have my computer and like a headphones. Oh, that's, I gotta buy something. No, you know? no, that's fine. Just don't do it near the AC, dude. Yeah. Here, I got you a gift. Yeah. It's a ball of foil. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, dude, ow! This ball of foil sucks. All right, that wasn't nearly as good as the last ball of foil you gave me. <laughs> I don't know why I put it back in my pocket. Yeah. How was you went to France recently? Yeah. Uh, I went in. Um, you went in the beginning of the year. March. Yeah. How was how was the beginning you, of the you, year? You, you, you like the French? No. You don't like it. No. Did you have a good experience out there? Yeah, I had a great experience there, but it's not like I'm not. You know, it's not like my. It's not like my people per se. It's not like if I could choose my favorite race, it, it wouldn't be the French. You know. <laughs> but you like their sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> that, that that sandwich place you the thirty dollars sandwich that's, that's that's Italian that, oh it's Italian that was French. yeah it's all Italian oh I thought it was French no Sorry, dude they butter. don't have no they don't they don't got that shit wait so what, what is this they had good food there though and France mm. what was your like it was bread right yeah bread cheese that's, it. <laughs> that's pretty much it yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it's like the the things they have there are just like each ingredient is a lot more quality than it is here, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the bread, the croissants are great. The bread is great. The cheese Here, stop is hit great. The table. Dude, you're like a fucking. <laughs> I'm a bad guy. Huh? I'm a bad guy. Well, it's Josh's table, dude, and this is the one that fold, it folds right here. <laughs> yeah, but I do things that I know is not going to break a table. Like, right. I didn't do it hard enough to break it. All right, sorry. Go on. The cheese. Cheese. Croissant, croissant cheese. Hit the table. <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> it breaks. <laughs> no. I can only do it now like really like I like limp. But yeah, they had I had a lot of like raw sausage on accident. I would like get this sausage. It was called <laughs> it was called Boudin Blanc. It was yeah. white sausage. Yeah. And I was like, alright, I'm gonna eat this shit. Cause this is like the proud dish of France. This is what they eat there. It's like yeah. sausage with milk, really gr- like <laughs> gross stuff. And I was like, All right, I'm going to eat this. Turns out I don't know how to cook a sausage, you know? And so, everybody I was with, they were vegetarians. So you would, you would eat it raw? Yeah. <laughs> Made me sick. I did that twice. <laughs> I was like, there's no way I'm going to cook it raw again. And I would just cook it and it would just get so black on. The- Am I supposed to be looking at this camera? No, it doesn't matter, dude. Cause if I look at it, they know that like I'm aware of myself, you know? Well, I don't know. Look at it. Don't look at it. All right. Um, I need to like pick a spot to look at. <laughs> so I would look at it. <laughs> like over there. I would look at it, and then it would just be so black on the outside. It would just be charred and oh, totally raw on the like inside. Red, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to cook meat. It's pretty yeah, difficult. I think you have to uh, slow cook that shit. Yeah, but I tried that too. I mean, my mom never cooked meat growing up, so I never learned. We your, mom have, never, your mom's vegan. We don't have a lot of money. Uh, my mom is. She's like. I mean, we grew up kosher, and then. Kosher, um, that means you only eat Chinese food and shit, huh? Yeah, exactly. That means you only eat Chinese food. Pork. You guys eat Chinese food on Christmas? Yeah. But it was like, it was any kind of chicken we would get in the host, house, house, any kind of kosher chicken would just be pre, it was like cooked already. Like yeah. my mom didn't cook meat herself, you know? And then when we moved to a different apartment, she would like do a little bit of cooking, but a lot of the time it was raw. Huh. Oh no, you fed me some food that your mom made. And your she mom didn't make that shit. Oh, she bought it? What, the grape leaves? Oh, yeah, yeah. You think she can make that shit? I don't know. I don't know her like that. 
No, she doesn't make that shit. <laughs> That's from Sahadi's, the fine food store in Atlantic. Shout out Sahadi's. Yeah, Sahadi's. Huh. Dude, yeah, you, they're really good. You know, you're like the you're like you're like my the first uh, Jewish person that I met. And I think because of you, I really like Jewish people. I don't think you really like Jewish people. You don't think so? No, I'm just kidding. Dude, no, I, <laughs> dude, every time I have like a Jewish thought, not a Jewish thought, but like a Jewish question, I, you're like my rabbi. That's you're like good. my personal rabbi. Yeah, but you have those experiences with the Jews and Uber Eats who didn't tip you. Yeah, but I mean, I also have, like, also have positive experiences. And like, I, and I do here, Jews so here, tip you? Um, no, well, here, there's, been, there's been two instances. In, uh, Are you asking me what the word is? Can you say it? Can you say instances? It? Oh. <laughs> I couldn't say it. I so you, well, here, <laughs> here, here's my my two like uh, in, interactions with with the Jewish folk. Sure. With money is um, I was doing a reads and I, I went to a very very rich part of Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. It was a Saturday, and I was doing a reads. And was it Crown Heights? Um, I'm not sure. I'm, not, I'm too familiar with where I was at. Uh I I delivered this place called Holy Cow. Right? Holy schnitzel. Holy schnitzel, yeah, holy schnitzel. So I and then um, I'm driving to these Holy cow. <laughs> holy cow. That's an Indian place. Yeah, I was gonna say that's halal. Yeah. So um uh I I, I go to Holy Schnitzel. I I haven't sent you a picture and then I yeah, told I, I, I said I said this shit, this shit smells good, we gotta come here sometime. But so um I'm driving to this like neighborhood and then I'm seeing like all these like sick ass like nice houses dude. yeah it's a beautiful 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 neighborhood not like just bmw he was all over the place for something yeah. and then uh i i have four deliveries dude and like in like it's in two blocks i'm like oh nice dude what's that noise no it's me oh it's you oh I, I got four me. deliveries in two blocks so I, I deliver all of them at the end of the night you know i, I check how many not like my tips or whatever and those specific four <laughs> deliveries I got tipped 75 cents. Each? Total? Total. So one person just didn't tip you, presumably, Most and everybody else tipped you. One person tipped me 75 cents. And the three just didn't tip yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You know what it is, dude? I mean, if you look at it and you see like, oh, I'm, I I bought food that was, you know, worth, let's say, $30 and I'm right. paying 40 bucks or 38 Like, I'm already paying a lot of extra money. I'm not going to pay any more. Yes, that's, that's a thought makes sense, but it says right there leave a tip for the driver it's yeah, like yeah. that that shouldn't be optional and like the fucking the all this fucking sorry table all this extra money that the uber that the company is getting is like that should i mean not that right, anyone's right. gonna tip uber but like it shouldn't be uh, you're already paying so much money and for people who are squeezed for cash scrap for cash not that you know yeah. these certain jewish people were it's like it doesn't make I don't know. I guess the mentality right. is just like you don't want to do it, but it's very clear right there. It's like this person's not going to make any money unless you tip them. Right, dude. But here, here's the here's the um, opposite of that. I do catering and shit. Yeah. Sure. So I I, I went I went to <laughs> <Right>. uh, <laughs> just fucking yeah. <laughs> okay. Speak into the mic, dude. Whatever. I'm just not because in my I'm not like you guys. I don't carry around a microphone with me everywhere I go. I don't carry a microphone. I don't have 1.3 million followers on TikTok. I'm not Shamalay, dude. You have, you have, is that, you have 1 million. No, I don't. Dude. Yeah, you do. I have, I have 100. That's good. 100 million? 140. Yeah. Thousand? No, just, that's just 140. Followers? Yeah. On TikTok? Yeah. That's not true. Yeah, it is. What about your videos? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I'm sorry. 140,000. <laughs> Total? Yeah. But that's, it's not a, it's, it's not a lot. Not, it's pretty good. Are they paying you? Yeah, yeah. They're paying yeah, you yeah, now? Yeah, that's dude, the, um, the majority of my income right now is TikTok and stand-up. How much are you making from TikTok? Oh, like a month? Yeah. 500 or 1,000. A month? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, dude, and then I have like, stand-up like 25 bucks a week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's something. It's still the majority of your income. <laughs> yeah. Secondary. That's great, dude. No, I'm, 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 dude, I'm making like 50 to 65 bucks a week now from stand up. That's good. I know, dude. It's fucking. Plus the other, plus the TikTok. That's a good yeah, chunk of change, you know? I know, yeah. You're not paying rent. I like, know, but I'm trying to save up now for Rick's I'm moving out here next next year. Yeah, so that's when you'll actually have an apartment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When is she coming out? June of next year. June of 2024. Year. Oh, so like almost a year. A year, yeah. Anyway, hold up here. Let, let me finish telling you this Jewish shit. Yeah. So on, on the opposite spectrum of this, I went to, uh, I do catering, yeah? Yeah. I cater to this this Jewish wedding. Oh, I, I I told you, dude. Jewish weddings are fucking lit. Yeah. Dude. But it's also hilarious because like the wedding was here. Here, let me just tell you the 
the beginning of it there's like the ceremony is going on right it's, it's like a beautiful ceremony yeah. they're talking about like they're about to break a step on the glass talking about uh, edu- educating because it was like a jew people and then like, uh, like it was a jew person marrying a non-jew it was an interfaith people. wedding yeah or in layman's terms it was a jew person marrying a non-jewish person what was it called G- guy fucking not everybody went to school for to study jew <laughs> it's not because of that dude it's because i went to a million weddings growing up my father would drag me when nobody could well your father's a me. rabbi yeah, yeah, so he was like, tell me. dude, when I, w- I would go to a lot of weddings when I was like three years old, four years old before he left. Yeah. So I would just be there at the wedding like a little kid and he would go, you may now kiss the bride. And I would go, ah. <laughs> whenever he did that, I would go, ee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody was like, what the fuck is this kid? <laughs> Whose child <laughs> yeah, is who this? Is that? <laughs> I was like, who is this? <laughs> I was just his kid. And I never wore a suit. He would just put me in like a shirt. <laughs> I didn't have a suit. I was like four. I would just be there, like, upset that he dragged me because nobody else could watch me. I was just sitting there. <laughs> ah, good times. And, and so, I mean, this, what was the name, of, the name of it? The name of what? It's an interfaith wedding. So, I, I came to this Interpol wedding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it, kick-ass it's a, wedding. It's a, Interpol. <laughs> interfaith wedding. And uh, the ceremony is happening, right? And we look over to, to like, where, like, all the cars are parked. There's, like, a car, like, driving to us. Like, uh, through, like, the walkway from the parking lot to the ceremony, the car is driving on the walkway. What? And we're like, and we're like, we're like, we're like, what? And it's like an old dude. And he, <laughs> and he pulls up and we're like, yo, yo, we're like, stop, stop. Because like, the ceremony is happening. It's like very quiet. And he goes, sticks it out the window and he goes, there's no parking back there. <laughs> dude, the car <laughs> is on the chairs <laughs> of the wedding. Like, like, like dude, like, picture like three feet over here there's, wow. the, there's the suv and an old man screaming out of it there's no it, party it, it's like, it sounds like he's driving down the aisle <laughs> like Almost. when the dad takes him he's like he, is she ready yet <laughs> dude I, it, he was 30 feet from the aisle <laughs> wow that's it was hilarious up. dude and people were like jesus kind of like saw him? yes dude did he get out of the people car kind of, no like like all the cater people were like yo yo fucking back up so what happened to his car did he find parking no well he reversed not he came yeah eventually found parking he was at the party later but he like reversed like all the way back to the parking lot we're like jesus yeah, saying dude. there's no parking probably didn't look very hard but he probably just didn't get the one spot he wanted he was like fuck this i'm gonna ruin this wedding right right what? well and then uh <laughs> dude so the what the wedding is fucking lit dude people were like you know they, they did the chair thing yeah that shit was I, you know, i've never seen a lie i was like this is oh tight. yeah the chair yeah weddings for our mitzvahs imagine if they did that at funerals <laughs> they put the dead body yeah. in the chair Af- africans do huh that well, that one video africans yeah dude there's that africa's video. Africa's a big continent dude, <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's a well, good thing to get mad about. Well, I mean, people, Africans. People say Americans, and they talk about yeah, just you know one States. country. Yeah, yeah, but the, for that, they specifically mean the one country. Well, and for Africans, I mean specifically <laughs> South Africa. Just, like, just, we all do. It just covered South my Africa. Ass <laughs> no, no, I, you know, I'm talking about that that viral video. Where they like put that, a dead body in no, a no, chair. No, no, they're carrying the coffin and they're like going like that, like moving it. Oh, they're like getting lit with the coffin yeah yeah you know what i'm That's talking funny. about no oh, anyway the only african video that i saw is the guy going they eat the poo poo like ice cream oh who was he talking about <laughs> gays <laughs> it's like a very was, oh, i yeah. think it was from nigeria it was like why a very, are you gay yeah it was like home of a video who says i'm gay yeah you are know. gay I don't, I don't think it's that one <laughs> oh it's a different one <laughs> It's the guy doing like a PSA and he's like, what they do is they take the mouth and the asshole and they eat the, they eat the poo-poo like ice cream. <laughs> that's, funny to, that's funny to get mad at that because guys and girls could do that too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, guys and girls do do that. But gays ain't got no other options. They got to got to eat the poo-poo. I mean, I mean he could have talked about like scissoring or fucking blowing each other. Yeah, dude. But, but he, but he talked about eating ass, the ugh. shit that both gender, like, I mean, that fucking... loves, But yeah, but who doesn't love scissoring? I don't, you scissor? No, I'm not a two ladies scissoring. You can scissor as a dude. Just With but, a girl? Butt cheek to vagina? <laughs> yeah. Dude. Butt cheek to dude, vagina? Dude, gooch to I've gooch? <laughs> well, we, I mean, we've done sex like that, right? Where, like, she's just like, she. Here, can I demonstrate? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. But come over here so the camera yeah. can see. All right, I'll do it on you. So, here, so put your legs wide like a woman's. That's good. It's actually really good. Like that? <laughs> yeah. And so I'll just, I would just step in like, like this. And I kind of just like come in. I just come in and like. Wait, but the vagina's like over the, here. Oh, no, come on, dude. I just like go like that, you know? Yeah, this guy. You like that? No, you, I can tell you're very bad at sex. I'm good at sex. <laughs> really? I just don't come. Yeah, that is yeah, true. Yeah, I'm actually. good at sex. You know why I'm good at sex? Because I say really weird shit. 
Like what? Like what? What's the weirdest thing you've said during sex? Uh, I'm quiet as a I'm quiet. I'm quiet as a mouse. <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, you say that you do that during sex. You're quiet. No, that's what I say. You say I'm, like, I'm like having sex, and I go, I'm quiet. I'm as a, a mouse. mouse. <laughs> I'm a mouse. I'm a mouse. Yeah. Call me mouse. <laughs> yeah, Mr. No. Mouse. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mouse. They want you in the front. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> I, I have the ears. <laughs> like, uh, we're like I only have sex in like dumpsters. <laughs> Mouse. Well, that's a rat, I guess. That's hot. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't. I don't talk during sex. What was what's the uh, weirdest? Does thing? that make you a bad lover? Yeah, it does. Dude, I talk when I'm like drunk. I go, oh, fucking. <laughs> but like, but like, uh, but like I, I already slur like sober. So like having sex yeah, drunk, true. and then I slur. You just speak yeah, very and I'm clearly. Like, what, the, what are you? What are you saying? And I'm just like, <laughs> what? What are you saying under your breath? Are you saying anything? I well, I'm just I, making noises. Well, no, I, I just remember her just telling me to shut up every time. <laughs> what <laughs> like, would you like, like to say if you could say anything? If you were with your woman right now and that was her, what would you like to say? If you could say anything in the world. I would like to say that uh, <laughs> Russia should stop their invasion on Ukraine. Yeah. That's, that's, very, I, that's very nice. Thank that's you. That's what I would say during sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I just came. Um, what, what's the craziest thing you've said during sex? Honestly, Frankie. <laughs> Come on, and, and you know, and don't try to be funny. Be, be don't honest. try to be funny. No, I mean, like, like, be honest. <laughs> be honest. Be honest. Yeah. So don't be funny. Yeah. Well, I feel like you should narrow it down because there's been so many ridiculous things that I've said in my sexual endeavors. So give me categories. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here, let me just pull out my Kama Sutra. <laughs> Not the book. I don't know, man. I mean, like in a good way, in a bad way. Oh yeah, you get you, you know? get misogynistic, huh? But I think I feel like the really chick- misogynistic. The chick- I hate ladies. Yeah. Are you, are you know, right, right, Wait, the- you can cut that. Well, what's the funniest <laughs> thing that you've said? Shit, 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 <laughs> shit, shit. I ruined everything. This guy works at a school. <laughs> yeah. No, now they know. Oh, sorry. This guy's a full-time comedian. <laughs> all right, what, what's all right? That's me. I signed that picture for Josh. Yeah. Um, I don't know, dude. I mean, uh, I call. Pff, I'm nervous now. Oh, if you don't want to say it, don't say it. But I'm just nervous, is all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, and it's because I don't want to say it. Uh, but I need to be married. Be married? <laughs> what? I was married say, to the game? Or mar- to no, you? like a person. Or to like, your, I got to get married to someone for tax purposes. No, dude, like, yeah, I got to be <laughs> married to my art, you know? Yeah. I have to be willing to say anything. Yeah. So I'll do it. Go, go I don't know. I, I like call people like my slave and stuff. Were <laughs> 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 well, you not the, expecting that? The, no. <laughs> the, 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 on one night stands. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that to all kinds of people. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Just two, <laughs> oh, just two people <laughs> just meeting for the first time. <laughs> Not even during sex. <laughs> just like Mexicans in the back at of whole, a kitchen. At Whole Foods. <laughs> you know. Oh my god. Yeah, I've said that. I say like um you're okay. a you know if you don't want to continue it's No, fine. keep coming, I might as well. <laughs> Like you're, a, you bitch. Like I say stuff like that. I guess that's pretty standard. Like I guess you, that is you're a bad girl. Yeah, that's I, standard. Th- then I talk about my own stuff. Like, am I a good boy? You you say that? Yeah, because I want to be confirmed. Like as a good boy, I want to be confirmed you, in the Catholic, Catholic sense of the word. <laughs> we do all kinds of shit. We do like I mean, because I've have you ever done role plays before? No, I haven't. I, I'm too shy. But I feel like I shouldn't because I feel like I'm, I gotta marry this woman that I'm with right now. Yeah. Anyway, so. I don't really care about that. Can we go back to me? Yeah, sorry, go on. Yeah. I mean, it's... <laughs> yikes. <laughs> anyway. I mean, it's all about, like, you know... <laughs> look how dark I look on the camera, dude. Maybe it's just the summer. You're tanning. We, we also look like um, ketchup are you gonna and mustard. Mar- are you going to marry our... Yeah, it's kind of nice. Are yeah. you going to marry our Yeah, own? and this is how I ask her. I don't, I'm just on the podcast. Uh, can I be... Uh, can I officiate your wedding? As yeah. A, as a Muslim guy? No, well, you're... We'll do nothing our religion. Well, no, you're Jewish, huh? Yeah. Dude, marry us as a Jewish couple. I feel like that's like not legal in Jewish law. What you have to do is give my dad a lot of money, and he'll convert you. Dude, I've I've heard some fucking bother ass shit that Jew people do. 
that they they, they stay at <laughs> the they, wolf of wall street no dude that yeah that, but Ooh. like that they stay on ebt and like and they fucking like can make their house into a church like a legal church to avoid tax purposes interesting am i not supposed to say this is no i've never heard these aren't the jew like these aren't the jews no. that i grew up with oh because no i i know on another comic he's he's a property manager oh david uh, yeah should i just say his full name i guess uh, i shouldn't say his last name yeah but don't say his last name because david don't namry <laughs> <laughs> sorry yeah because he like cut he, that uh I, I was i was just telling him like you know like like what are the loopholes that you know jewish people are doing he's like he's like yeah like do they stay on ebt on purpose and they, they make their homes yeah sure, that like makes churches sense. So like, that's sick dude. i never got no money over covid i never got a cent from the government isn't that I, stupid i only got two grand in the beginning and then i think I people, got, got, a, like, people got so much dude yeah dude. it was crazy they spent like all our money on that yeah i didn't because i stayed working on because i was a truck driver so i didn't, I didn't I, work and i still didn't get money because i didn't do the fucking thing because i thought because i was sick at that point so i was like they're not going to give me money anyway i was never working in the first place i can't get unemployment right. apparently i was wrong they're giving a lot of money to a lot of people huh, yeah yeah no, no, no. anyway uh marriage wait so when, when are you gonna ask her to marry you i guess maybe I, you can't I, I say think, it for no this. no dude i mean dude, if i was financially stable i would have already done it i feel like but I, I i gotta be financially stable able to support us and shit you know but what do you like would you ever just like get a full-time job in new york um well i almost did well dude i, I would if it involved like like in the business or whatever yeah but dude, what I, about editing I, do that? Well, I applied for for vayner for josh's company i mean sure. for uh, sean's, sean's company yeah. And like I was on the way to getting like hired to like through their intern program and then to get hired, but then I I guess they're like running out of money or something and they they stopped in all the new hires. Damn. And I, I kind of took it as a sign, like like all right, let me let me just fucking try to go a little more full throttle on stand up and fucking like internet and like monetization. You can't rush it, dude. You can't rush the making money from stand up thing. It, it's guy, gonna guy, take such I, a I, long time. The guy, I was like. All this stand up money I made was since that since that happened. Yeah, I know, but like no, dude, to be able to make money to be stable, no, to make dude. enough from stand up yeah, to be I, stable. I guess so. But dude, dude, here's here's the thing. This, this might be I don't know if this is like boring to the to the audiences. No, oh, fuck them. But I think <laughs> I think that um, the difference between people that just do stand up like you just to go hang out, people yeah. who are like like actively trying to fucking make it a career, is not the fucking jokes and what you like say on stage. It's like it's what you do off stage. Like like I'm for the first time in my. I'm in this stand up for like around five and a half, five years, six years almost. Yeah. Like for the first time, I'm like, I'm actually like, like talking to like book. Like I'm trying to get like shows. And I'm like, sure. You know, like, like trying to produce shows, trying to fucking get paid, trying to pay my homies and shit, like reaching out, like, like doing road shit. And I'm like, damn, dude. And like, it feels like the time is right to do this because I'm not, fuck, I'm not out here like trying to like. You're not getting any younger. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I don't want to like, uh, I get what you mean. Like you can't rush it because like that's just ripping people off. Dude. Like no, you can't rush it, but you could still try hard. You know. Yeah, dude, but I don't want to rip people. I don't want people to pay like good money to come watch me, and then they get they get a five year comic performance. I want them to. I've fuck seen it some out. pretty good five year comic performances. Yeah, Not from you, but from other people. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Diego Mata. <laughs> Frankie killed at his show. <laughs> dude, a guy flew from Not. Idaho. Dude, a guy flew from Idaho. To really watch, to watch me yeah really yeah he hit me up later and i was like i felt so bad what like, did he yeah, say Jesus i flew from idaho thanks <laughs> <laughs> you suck i i felt bad dude I, especially <laughs> like, like i wanted something like, yo, dude, like fucking you should have said something. i would have hung out with you afterwards yeah that's, that's how he, bad i did what did he say he said i flew from idaho because he said i flew from idaho to see you at that show you just did and i was like Fuck. why doesn't he just wait till you're like closer to idaho or till he's in new I don't know what dude, it's, it's a it's, lot. It's still New York City. People, yeah. You know, people still He's I mean, like, it, I'm also doing other things. Yeah, it's also New York. <laughs> yeah. He just come to say that's, Frankie or perform nice, at, at the Vaughn dive bar. That must make you feel good. Uh, like when you see shit like that. It, it, it does, but it also makes me feel like I feel you bad. You feel for bad, yeah. Yeah, dude, but you got to be willing to have some of those. You have to be understanding and like be willing to forgive yourself because you're on that way to becoming, you're just on your way to becoming a 10 year comic, you know? It's going to happen every year. Right. And it's going to happen even when you're 10 years in. Yeah. It's going to less and less, but it'll still happen. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess, dude. Anyways. I want to talk about this like this Jewish shit, dude, cuz I I I what well, they tell me 75 cents. But I'm, I'm talking about this wedding. Dude. Um, when, when, I'll talk yeah. about the opposite of it. Next Wait, year. Dude, we never get tipped. These guys tipped all the like the wait staff do. We all got 50 bucks. In oh. tips in advance. This never happens. Nobody ever this tips is, catered. Oh, and the Jew, this, the this Jews Jewish, did? yeah, and this these That's like nice. Jewish, they tipped us. Who is the people doing the wedding? 
Oh. Like the people who were being wedded, who were like paying for the catering company. Yeah. The the bride and groom, they paid you like all the staff 50 bucks. They, they like them tips. That's so nice. Yeah. That's dude. great. I mean, yeah, man, you can't. What kind of wedding? Was it a Hasidic wedding? Was it? No, no, no. They weren't Hasidics. So was it people who looked like me? Mm-hmm. Tall. A little more attractive. But yeah. <laughs> they didn't really have styes in their eyes. <laughs> you know? They all had styes. <laughs> And they were like, they were like, oh, it's the we're Canadian like, fires. Ah. They had a hot compress against their eye. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> no, do what? Shit's so uncomfortable. No, they um. Wait, what do you put in your eye? Uh, it's called a hot compress. What is this? Instead a hot of conference. As much as hot ladies talking to you. Hot bitches with fucked up eyes. You do, you do, you just get a washcloth and you put it in hot water and then put that on your face. A hot compress. A hot compress, yeah. And you clean it off with Johnson's baby shampoo. Ah, uh, Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, <laughs> the most evil corporation did, in the world. It, after the wedding, when we were like, uh, when the wedding was over, like so during the wedding it was popping, right? And then like like in the middle of it, like all the old Jewish people were like walking out. They had like uh, like tissues in their nose, and some one guy had like a tissue in his ear, and like there was like a lady a tissue in his ear. Yeah, yeah, I probably got like an ear infection in the middle of the wedding or something. But like the, the like like well, one of the old ladies was walking out. <laughs> It's 11 p.m., dude. One of the ladies is walking out. She, she's like, I mean, enough is enough. It's late. It's late. It's like 11 p.m. at a wedding. So Jewish. 11 p.m. at a wedding. She goes, That's enough nothing. is enough. She goes, it's late. It's late. Dude, they go to bed. Are your grandparents still alive? No, no, none of them. Yikes. Ain't nobody praying for me. <laughs> Where, when they were alive, did you know them? Were they alive before yeah, you were born? Yeah, I, they were pretty Did they go to bed early? Mm, no, Not really? No. Mexicans. I just, I just noticed this. If I have grandkids, they're only gonna know me like how I knew my grandparents. Yeah, like very old. Yeah, just like old and feeble, yeah. not really knowing what's going on. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not worried about that. I'm not gonna have any grandkids. You don't want to have kids? No. Yeah, I'm, sp- gonna, I sp- I'm, I'm gonna get a vasectomy next. Really? The, sometime this why year. Do you next need year. A, why do you need a vasectomy? I don't want to have kids. Why can't you just not have kids? Why can't uh, she take birth control? Well, she was on birth control, but she, she, I don't know, dude, it was like fucking up her hormones and shit. And I'm like, dude, like the whole time, about we, an IUD. the whole time we've been dating, you know. She, no, it's very nice of her, but like, are you, are you, are you sure that you're never gonna want to have kids well, ever well, again? Well, I mean, vasectomies are reversible. And even if are I they? did, it, if, yeah, and even if I did, I could just okay. adopt. Right? I have no problem with adopting. You could adopt, yeah. Just buy one of those things, like thirty grand. I had a realization one of my one of my kids over the summer. Um, this kid had like really bad ADHD, and yeah. he was like really he kind of reminded me of myself. And uh, he was he was half Italian, and so I was like, oh, he's kind of like me and, and my girl, you know. And like he was sitting behind me on the bus one time, and I, really for the first time in my life, maybe I felt like, damn, like it would be nice if like he was mine, you know. A kid? Yeah, like if I had a kid. If he, he was, was your just, age, he was nine. Oh, or he was okay. eight. He was eight. But he's going into fourth grade, and he like he. I was like, damn, like if you just went home and like had this kid, like your right. own kid, you could just like hang out with and help and console yeah, like you how know? christian does christian christian Conti. yeah but that guy's 30 and you know, <laughs> autistic <laughs> yeah yeah for I people that don't know christian Conti, past guess he his, his day shout job, out his day job he takes care of a 30 year old autistic fellow yeah i have an autistic kid i really shouldn't be talking about this but i i, I will I, <laughs> I have an autistic kid in my group i really shouldn't be talking about this no the people aren't gonna watch this shit <laughs> yeah. i mean sorry people from your school aren't gonna watch this yeah shit. all right people have recognized in the vlogs though yeah, oh Lalu from high school. Shout out. Yeah, shout out. What's your name? Lalu. Yeah, Lalu Palooza. <laughs> Lalu Palooza. <laughs> Filipino. She's, Fili- She's a Fili- girl. Filipino bitch. She's a girl. She's a woman? She is a woman. <laughs> and a half. Oh, she's transitioning? She's fat, yeah. Oh. What am I doing? I don't, I'll bleep that out. Yeah. What, depend, gonna, it, what depends on how I feel like when I'm editing this? If I'm like tired, I'm like, I'm not fucking <laughs> editing anything. Dude, there's so many times where like, we're like we're like we'll bleep it out we'll bleep it out and then like when we're like editing it we're just tired like just fucking who cares she's fat <laughs> who cares she's, she's not gonna the- watch this but that will be the clip though <laughs> so <laughs> post it to her instagram yeah, also well, she's she's really put on some weight since then oh, just come on worse. dude <laughs> you're just giving me more work if you, you keep saying shit i'm like just that. saying dude she is a blimp <laughs> <laughs> guy you're giving me more work stop i'm cutting all this shit off anyway yeah um but yeah back to adopting so so i would adopt i mean i don't want kids but i would adopt before i had my own because i can't give my stomach shit to a kid you know oh yeah but you so you don't want one of your own 
No, I mean, I, I, I already like, you know, what I do, seeing kids from eight to four or whatever. And if I am with a kid all the time, it's just, it's too much. I don't know how my, how teachers do it who have kids at home. It's literally, it's, you never have time without kids. Yeah. It's crazy. All your time gets sucked up, your energy, your money. It's right. crazy, you know? Yeah, dude. but you know what's crazy? A lot of comics blow up right after they have their kids. Blow up? Yeah, yeah. Like, like they like what? Because they post their kids on online. Come in so successful. No, well, no. Like Louis, Louis started like selling out and like being a. What you think? Because it taught him some kind of work ethic or something. Yeah. Well, he he talks about it. he talks about how well, like when he, when he would just go out and hang out, and then after he had his kids, like oh, I have to go out and fucking actually like work. So he like just go out and do. But but, but, the, I, but I think these are comics that had already like kind of had like something that are, they're already like working. Yeah, and kinda he was working. already like. There's other things in life that can. It doesn't have to be a child, you know. It doesn't. Yeah. There could be fucking like, it could be a job, like a day job. It could be a hobby, a sport. It could be anything else, you know. What are you doing? I'm trying to see if like the lighting could have been better. I keep looking over, and I just look like a like it's like a dark blimp. Are you? What are you self conscious about the way you look? No, and I'm just worried it'll look bad for like the. Why don't you like, just the people watching? Put shit. some sepia on it. Have you ever thought about putting some some sepia on it? It's a, like a, a 1970s yeah a filter. 1970s filter. Put a little filter on it, yeah. Oh, keeping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the the bag. The, <laughs> so the the cat the cat is out of the fucking house, dude. You you work at a school, and this is the funniest thing that I think you you know what I'm gonna say. The funniest thing that, that has happened. You're a teacher assistant, and a, a kid. A kid, fuck! A kid told you <laughs> that you weren't a real teacher. I mean, it was it. A- and hold on, you got mad, and you told a real teacher. <laughs> that you- yeah, I mean, it's kind of a. Yeah, that is. <laughs> by and large, that is what happened. Yeah. You said, "Oh, this won't do." Eddie. <laughs> What's little- the kid's name? Yeah. But but you said that you liked this kid, right? He was like he was like a good shit. I liked him at the beginning because on the first day of school we were having pasta for lunch and he he spilled water all over his pasta. Yeah. And I was giving out sauce. I was like, Eddie, you want some sauce? And he goes, No thanks. I already have water sauce. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's funny, funny, right? Yeah. But then he just became a huge dick. He's like not. Yeah. He's like not a good. Is he funny though? Was he still funny? Not really. He did because he had a bad attitude. He he was never a positive kid. He always complained. He was like, "I hate this school. This school is the reason why I'm sad. This school is ruining my life. Half of my life, I'm miserable because I spend it in school, dude. It's school. No one likes school. Get over it. How you think this, I want to be here? How old is he? At that point, he was seven. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's a very smart kid. It's always the intelligent ones that give you the most problems. Really? No. <laughs> Not oh. always, but sometimes. Those are the ones that they send to war. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, how were you as a kid? Were you were you probably a fucking... I was a good kid. You, you were? People always tell me they think I was bad, but I was, I was very afraid. Kind of like how I am now. You yeah, were afraid? Yeah, I was very shy. I wasn't shy, but I was afraid. I, I was like shy to get in trouble, so I wouldn't like do yeah. anything crazy. Dude, I had a big fear of authority because my mom at home, she would tell me, if you do this thing that yeah. I don't want you to do, there will be, and I quote, serious consequences. <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, what does that mean? And I never found out what it meant because I never, I always stopped at that point. Yeah. She always got me to stop. It's all, st- it starts at home. You, you know what my mom would do? What? Like, I didn't speak English till like, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, till two weeks from now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like like seven or eight, <laughs> and uh, whenever whenever we would go like a, to a grocery store, and they'd make it, make like an announcement, I would ask my mom like, like yo, what, like what do they say? <laughs> and my mom, she, my mom, she would say she would say that she say oh they said that kid's being very bad right now. <laughs> I'm gonna come and take him away. Did she know what they were saying? Uh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> did she speak English? <laughs> she barely spoke English. So I did, <laughs> me didn't. and my family, we all learned English like kind of together. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like at the same time. Is there English? Is it worse than yours? My dad's is probably my mom. They're older. It's hard to learn it when you're older. Yeah, well, my mom's is is uh, better than mine. My dad's really. Yeah, my dad is. is that means is your mom the smartest of all of you? No, my dad is really. Yeah, my 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 dad's like the business guy. My mom's like the the like, language, like like the art, like the artsy fartsy yeah. one. And then I'm I'm just like the artsy fartsy one. And then my little sister's like a, 
my little sister got a lot of my dad's shit like she's like very like stern like very like cut and dry with her friends really <laughs> Yeah, dude. Like, if I had her mentality, like in the stand-up world, I'd be like, you'd fucking, be far ahead. I'd be like, you yeah. wouldn't be with me right now. You wouldn't. No, be I'd, sitting I'd, I'd with still me. be with you because I like you. You know what I mean? Oh, you know, I wouldn't if I had her. Yeah, her, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Wait, no, so, no, but she hangs out with people she likes and shit. Wait, but no, but I, you'd be, you know, you'd yeah, be I, doing I, better. I, I'd be more business oriented. So you have one sibling. I, I have my little sister, and then I got two half older cousins that I consider my sisters because well, I don't what, consider them your what, what are you fucking only, yeah I don't think neither do they they fucking call me their, <laughs> they call me their cousins leave us still. alone Frankie dude, I'm the only one that calls them the sisters it, why do you yeah well, that's weird my, did you grow up with them in the same house yeah dude my, yeah we shared our room for fucking half our lives too half really? our childhood yeah they girls yeah to my, I you come, shared a room with bitches yeah <laughs> to my what was that like were they hot huh yeah dude <laughs> that's they weird were, you're supposed to say no they're your cousins oh, no they're my cousin sisters <laughs> <laughs> they're my cousins cousin sisters they're my cousin and sisters. i want to fuck no they're not very hot yeah they are dude they're very attractive show me anyways where's my phone no they, actually they don't they don't have any social media you'll show me they don't got social media anyways did you share a room with your sister you all shared a room yeah yeah we all shared a, well did you was it bunk beds or what if i could just get a word in here i'm curious yeah no, I'm, I'm i'm getting to all that it, it is uh, right. it was bunk beds okay it was a bunk <laughs> <laughs> all right but I, my, I consider them my sisters because they're uh, they, they they were left at my house before I was born for my for my mom to like take care of them. Oh, they left them on the front desk. Well, no <laughs> not front desk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, I lived, I lived in a fucking on the front yeah, desk. I lived in a fucking dentist fucking waiting room. <laughs> Whose kids are these? <laughs> well, on the front door. Yeah, well, no, like no, no. Moses. Well, no, my my uncle, my uncle, <laughs> cousin Moses. My uncle left them with my mom while he worked, so so yeah. they stayed in my house, let my uncle to go to work and shit. Sure. Like their mom was not not really present at all, so my mom was their mom, and then I was born, and then they were just there, and, Damn. and I was like, oh, these are my sisters. And you grew up with grew a lot up. of ladies, huh? Yeah, dude, and that's why I think now it's like very easy for me to make friends with with women and uh, gay dudes, just like yourself. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it's extremely difficult for me to make friends with women. Really? I never had a sister. Hmm. I never had female friends. Dude, most of my friends growing up were female. Like, all, all of my best friends, up until Alex, Alex, kinda, Alex is like bi- bisexual, I think. Yeah, but, I mean, but, 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 de- de- <laughs> definitely is. Dude, all, all, all of my best friends up until like, like now have, have all, girls? all been like girls. And and you guys didn't fuck? No. No, I didn't even try either. Did you want to? But like, no. Because I can't do it. Like, I it's always something that ha- it's always just weird to me. And it's just like, why do it? I would never like. I would never rather be with like them than with like, my boys. Like my friend Buster, who I've known my whole life, he was always just like you know, yeah. he's like my best friend. You know, right. And I grew up with him, and like my guy for like Max, who I grew up, he grew up in my shul with me, and like my dad did his brother and his Your brothers. Shul? Yeah. What is that? This it's. <laughs> Shul is Yiddish for school. It's like the synagogue. Oh, all right. Well, and dude, don't. Fo- it's common. It's, it's a different. It's, it's a different audience. The majority of the audience of this it's fucking podcast are lexicon. in Southern California in the desert where Jews don't. You're the first Jew that I met, and I was 25 years old. So don't fucking say Shul and Roy rise at me when I'm like. Oh. One time I said Mazel Tov around my ex's little brothers, and they were like, oh. <laughs> I got I got so excited. I was like, "What, dude? Um, what, what are the what are the? Oh, sorry. Finish with your best friend stuff. Yeah, it's really interesting. This stuff. No, I don't know. It's these guys. Dude, this know? podcast is a fucking nightmare. It's Jewish because guys. We're both we both have fucking ADHD. Yeah. So we're Do you have like, ADHD? You don't dude, take anything for it. Well, I, I I started getting rid of them from Tijuana, and I'm, I I've been taking like half a pill. <laughs> Is that what you took before this? Yeah, I, like I so that you could be present for the pod. So, so I can be like, yeah, engaged. And not so, it's, you, so didn't, it's, you didn't catch that. So it's not like, but, well, I want you to touch me there. <laughs> well, no, there's so so it's not like, what are you doing? <laughs> so I don't so know. guy, because fucking the beginning of the pod, you're like you're like jumping off the walls and shit. So one of us has to be. Was I doing that this time? Yeah, the <laughs> beginning of this pod. I had to tell you to stop fucking punching the desk over here. That was the, funny. The table. Was that not I, funny? I guess it was funny. Um, you gotta like. Do you 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 have health insurance? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I 
but I, I think i think it's legal to not to have any so for legal purposes that was a joke <laughs> it's illegal not to have any yeah yeah but like you're the only one who gets in trouble if you get like if you need surgery and you can't like it's not like you can they can arrest yeah, you yeah i know that. but they charge you like three grand if you don't have health insurance after 26 so you're you have to pay three grand Dude, dude, I I think I have health. I don't know. You I, can get Medicaid or something. Dude, I I you, pay, well, you know you probably need a residence, a permanent residence. Yeah, I will have one next year. You just don't get sick till then. Anyway, so uh, so you 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 have ADD and you take medication for it. Sure. I have attention deficit hyperactive disorder and I take medication. It's pretty like it's pretty bad. I know. I'm your friend, dude. <laughs> Sometimes is it, is it bad? Huh? I think it's pretty bad. I didn't think it was that bad growing up. Turns out, I think it's like pretty bad. I can't focus on stuff. I have to like. Are you, how are you at math? Terrible, awful. I grow growing up. I could barely do. I mean, now I'm like now that I'm like in it again. I'm, I can do like that third grade math, you know, and like shit like oh, that yeah, because yeah. I'm you know on the other side of it, and like it helps to learn stuff by teaching it. Yeah, but like, yeah. I could just growing up. I was just I was good at the talking subjects like history, Me where too. you would debate. Yeah, English and history. I could do science up until a point where they put math into it, and I was like, yeah, what? Same. science Me too. class. That's why I studied religion in college because it was just free and no math. It was free thinking, you know. Right. It was broad. Dude, I tried studying uh, sociology. That's good. In, in college. That's a classic bitch major. Ladies well, love sociology. Really? My mom's a sociology major. Oh, I gotta talk to her. Shouldn't have called it a bitch subject, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. ladies love sociology. Dude, well, there's a thing. I I I knew I loved stand up. And then I knew, like, I love, like... Stand-up and sociology. Well, dude, he, 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 well, I mean, if, like, a lot of my jokes are just fucking, like, observation. Like, I have, like, a lot of observational humor. Like, I observe that, like, I spit on a rat. And my joke... Well, no, 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 but the rat's reaction when I spit on it. <laughs> dude, dude that, the whole joke I have when I get robbed... <laughs> the whole time... Are you laughing you, at me? The whole time you were bombing... On uh, was it Wednesday? Tuesday, Wednesday? On Diego show? Yeah, it was it Tuesday or Wednesday? For the record, I wasn't bombing. <laughs> yeah, he was bombing. I was no, was that, it Tuesday? Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Was, no, hold on. Was it, here, I wasn't don't blame bombing. The dude. audience, dude. I'm, I'm gonna here. I, I fucking I filmed <laughs> it. Put it in. Here, I put it here, in. Here, go 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 ahead for the <laughs> that whole. Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? It was uh, Wednesday. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> the whole time you were bombing on Wednesday, yeah. I was thinking, I was like, when is he going to do the rat bit? <laughs> when is he going to do this spit on a rat and turn this fucking show around? When is he going to be bombing and be like, so I spit on a rat? And I'll be like, oh, shit, this dude. boy crazy. And you could have turned everything around. Nah, dude. Classic. Dude, What's dude. the difference between no. a rat and a raccoon? Well, here's, dude, I, I get on stage, right? <laughs> But first of all, nobody introduced me. I'm, I'm hosting the thing. Nobody. Oh, hold so up. Diego is a bad guy. I'm not a saying bad that. Show. No, I'm not. Yeah, you saying that? Oh shit, Frankie! You saying Diego is a bad show? And David was in Canada, nowhere to be seen. Oh shit, Frankie! You saying he's a bad boy? That's crazy. <laughs> dude, get off of me! He's gonna call me a slave. Stop, dude. <laughs> All right, sorry. So, nah, dude. First of all, nobody entered me, right? Like, He's gonna call like, me a slave. I I walk on stage. <laughs> I walk on stage, and like the comics, the comics in the back. <laughs> That's what you're afraid of now. The, the comics in the back are clapping, right? You know, trying to get like people to yeah, clap. Yeah, of course, I was there. Um, nobody in the front. No, none of the audience members clap. And then and then I get I grab the mic. I go, hey, what's up? How we doing? Yeah. And this, this is the reaction. I go, hey, what's up? How we doing? This is the reaction. And then and then I go, hey, how how we doing? <laughs> And there's a reaction. I go, and then I go, what are you fucking dead? And then I get mad. And then I'm yeah. like, maybe I shouldn't get mad. Yeah, you got to build up to that. <laughs> because I'm a host. Yeah, you just get maybe mad right off the maybe bat. Maybe I shouldn't snap on the audience that paid money. Just lose your patience. Just like my, it hasn't yeah. even started yet. Yeah, you like already lost my your patience. My second sentence out of my mouth. I'm fucking yelling are at you. Are you dead? No, dude, but fuck that. I didn't bomb, dude. They, they, they love the getting robbed joke. They love the fucking. No, there was some pops in there. Yeah, there were but, some. But anyways, going back to the sociology, dude, you fucking, <laughs> you know, you're you're off the pod, dude. You're off the pod. Go over there, dude. I'm just saying. I mean, this just the whole, I was waiting for you to do the spit on a rat bit. I don't do it anymore. Really? But it's so funny. Should I bring it back? <laughs> Here, sit down. I invite you back. Thank you. You, you complimented one of my jokes. <laughs> Can you mind trying everybody? <laughs> Dude, I was I was so funny to watch. You know, you know what I was thinking when you were doing that. What? I said he's rushing. He doesn't want to be on stage right now because you don't. I went over they my were, time. No, but you did like enough material. Like you went through it quickly, and you didn't give them a chance to stop and be like, "Oh, this is funny." Yeah, dude. All right. 
Speak, dude. You can't have dead air in the fucking. <laughs> Are you checking? No, I'm. I'm. Are you verifying? No, here. That I'm, was my thought. Because you did the uh, Chinese bit, which always kills, but they weren't reacting to it. Well, yeah. Well, dude, that was my closure. I, so my, I, I have my 10 minutes set right now, sure. right? And then right right before I do the Chinese joke, I get the light. So, yeah. so, so the Chinese joke is about a minute. I do that joke and then I get off. So so that's how I know I, was, I wasn't completely bombing. Otherwise, I would have I would have done the fucking Chinese joke way before. It wasn't. I mean, listen, a bomb. It's it's a spectrum. And also, I can't believe I'm up here defending myself, not bombing. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? And that's how. That's also how I know how I didn't bomb because I don't. And don't do this. If I if I bomb and I did bomb, I'm like, yeah, dude, I, I sucked. Well, it's a spectrum, you know. Well, and also, dude. <laughs> You suck, dude. It was just funny seeing it because I was like, this is like a, it's a weird mishmash of things here. I don't know if they, I just thought they probably didn't know stand up etiquette because like, it's a weird thing to tell a bunch of people in a room like, all right, hey, everybody stop your conversations, listen to the person on stage and laugh. And this is going to be from now on, it's a one sided conversation. That's what stand up right. is, you know? And yeah, try and then, to laugh and listen, dude, but don't and, call out. Dude, and, well, a lot of the people that came were like, uh, so some of them were Diego's friends. Yeah. And like Diego gets off stage and he goes, you believe this shit? And then what happened? He goes, the people that I invited to come watch me left right before I got on stage. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> Ian left. Levy. I left after Ian Levy. Dude, I, I mean, I think maybe they wanted some crowd work or something. Yeah. And that's what yeah, people like. Know. Maybe. Well, dude, they well, want to feel the, singled I, out. No, I mean, I did some crowd work with the black guy in the back that was like talking and like, kind of <laughs> heckling and shit. And like, yeah, I, I guess they did laugh at that. Yeah. So you remember that they laughed at that? Yeah. Then I'm bomb. They got they got to feel connected to you know. Listen, it's 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 also it's relative. It's like if you feel like you did, it was just it was a set. I I enjoyed watching it. That's all I'll say. And like, I enjoyed like, it because you're, you're, because it was so bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this just in. Kiri Weintraub is dead. <laughs> he died on a car accident <laughs> drive home. Yeah, but he, you got yourself too. He accidentally fell off the <laughs> passenger door. He doesn't know. Dude, Kiri, dude, Kiwi, Kiwi doesn't know this. This is how Kiwi is like not on cars yeah, that much. It's dude, true, we, I'm not we, on cars. Dude, we, we get into my van. <laughs> <laughs> so my my rear view mirrors they're, they're like they're like folded in because I don't, I don't want a car to like side so i mean hit my mirror off we get in the car and i tell kiwi from he's in the passenger side this i'm, I'm like yo could you uh unfold the mirror take, take the mirror out and he goes what i go i'll go pull the mirror out and he goes he goes <laughs> he goes sorry i don't know i don't know anything about cars <laughs> you fucking what mirror a mirror is not a car thing yeah, but pull the mirror out. What is that? Oh, the rear view mirror that was folded in like two feet from your I would face? Have, I would have taken it away from the thing. I would have like taken it out of its socket. Yeah, I know, dude. I you're wouldn't not, have known not, what to do. You're not, fair, you're not a very fucking bright guy. I wish people watch, <laughs> which watch this whole pod. Do you see how mean you are to me towards the end? Because I was, I was kind of mean to you in the beginning. And um, Mean? I'm just giving you an honest review of your set. Yeah, dude. No, you're not. <laughs> well, but we agree. It's Diego's this, fault for, this not, is, for, not, this for is, not introing you. This is jealousy, dude, because I am so fucking funny. Yeah. Dude. And, dude, you, you fucking <laughs> up there just humping the stool. You fucking hack. I haven't done dude, that since the dude, last Dude, I'm on pod. stage. Dude, this is what happened. I'm on stage killing, dude, hosting. And you're on stage going, this guy, he's not humping the stool. <laughs> Why is he not humping the stool? You fucking hack, I was dude. saying something like that. Dude, I haven't humped a stool in a very long time. Why is he not questioning what the stool is? It's been like... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Kiwi gets on stage and when he's bombing, he goes, what is this, a stool? <laughs> I was crushing that time. Actually, yeah. The dude. first time. Yeah. The second time was really bad. That uh, was the classic like, Martin Luther King Day bomb. What oh, you, dude. We're, what we're reaching for? an hour here. Did you have fun on the podcast? It was all right. <laughs> good. It was highs and lows? Good, good, not great, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I you, you, you think you did well at that show? No, I don't think I did well, dude. I think the crowd was tight. I, I think yeah. the crowd was really tight, and I think it was a struggle, but I don't think it was a complete bomb. No, I, 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 I know when I bomb, I feel like shit afterwards. Like that, that I was you like, feel like shit. That's good. That 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 is kind of how you know if it's a bomb or not. Is like how you feel because only you know how well, like you know, dude, that, you did. That felt like you and me. That felt and like I know. That felt that like you didn't really. That felt do like that well. Anyway, sorry. He was, dude. That felt because that felt like work up there. It is, dude. Hosting a show, especially, it is work, man. 
And Not that I would know, but it, but it seems like you know. That's why they pay, the mic that's why they pay me the big bucks. Yeah, hosting the, my mic is definitely work, dude. Dude, it's, it's so much more comfortable doing the pod outside of the van. It's more comfortable. Yeah, dude, in the van I'm like hunched over. I liked when we did it in my apartment. That was nice. It was comfortable. That wasn't yeah being in my own apartment. <laughs> Kiwi, you're a fucking mensch, dude. I, I love you. I love but you too. I um. Don't don't touch me, dude. You like that? Did you ever see about the time that Jack told me he loved me? Jack Barth? Yeah. What? No. It made me so uncomfortable, dude. We, we nah, were, he doesn't seem like the I love you type. And that's why dude, we were we were eating sandwiches looking at Manhattan because we were in New Jersey. That's nice. And, and he was about to leave to a... Uh, I probably shouldn't even be like making fun of him because it was like a genuine moment Let's we just had. Just say it. We, we, we were... <laughs> I, I helped him move some shit like, like to leave in New Jersey because he was leaving to Europe for like a month. I remember. And I helped him and then and we sat... Like at a park in Jersey City, looking at the Manhattan skyline, you know, we just sat there quiet. Yeah. And he goes, ah, "I love you, man." And but like he like touched my knee. That's so weird. And I go, "This guy fucking touched my <laughs> knee." And I just, yeah, I, I, I had a break. I had a, I had a break. The um, oh, camera died. <laughs> that's that's like, you know, did you say anything back? That's what I said. I said this guy fucking touched my knee. You didn't say I love you back. Uh no damn dude well dude i mean <laughs> pretty embarrassing don't, no dude don't don't bully and i love you out of someone yeah, that's fair. what are you fucking nuts dude he's not bullying you he's just touching your knee which dude, is which is weird you, you know dude i you know who gets an i love you dude well i guess i just gave you one but it was kind of like i didn't mean it but like, come on you, you know who gets an i love you dude my <laughs> mom my sisters and my girlfriend dude they get and noah snyder and then my father no noah gets a <laughs> i cried it i'd cry if you die Cause dude, really Would yeah you really dude no, noah snyder fucking throws out i love you is like the argentinian pesto dude I just, would I would cry if any button died if any of you died, I think. Yeah. Except for like uh, like one of the distant people maybe. Like who? <laughs> <laughs> who wouldn't you cry if died? Uh no, I would cry if any of you died. Yeah, dude. I'm, let's end the podcast because it's been it's been long. I mean, enough. are we still even going? This conversation has taken its course. Oh, wait, are we? Can they hear us? They just can't see us. Yeah, yeah. The audio. The audio. Oh, I shouldn't have said that shit about one of the distant people. You have the microphone still to your face. So you knew, <laughs> I know. You knew we were recording. Up. But who? But now it's like, who is one of these people? I'm trying to think about it. Do you, um, who would you not cry if they died? If they died? Yeah. Um, Alan Fitzgerald. No. I don't know him. He's the best comic ever. I know. He's hilarious, but I don't know him. Oh, I would cry buckets. Buckets? Buckets. You know, you don't have that much water in your fucking body. Fair. I would drink a lot, and then I would cry <laughs> it out. Cry. I would cry it out. Yeah, just I'm, try it I'm out. Gonna, I'm gonna end this podcast right here, dude. Wait, but I have more to say. No, dude. wait. B- before I go, I just want to genuinely uh, big shout out to Josh Creedon for letting us use his apartment. You just wrote. Uh, I want to say thank you to Ducks Unlimited. There you go. <laughs> and I want to say thank you to Frankie Oi, really, oh. for having me on the pod, man. Call me a racist.